days ago. The city of Orlando approved a measure to buy the nightclub property where the shooting happened for $2 million. These developments come as survivors and victims' families have been waiting years for a permanent memorial. Where Liv Johnson spoke with two survivors. Today is, is a major win in our book. Norman Cassiano is a survivor of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Shot twice in his lower back, he still feels the pain from that night every day. There's cell phone numbers that I've yet to erase of people that passed seven years ago because I just can't bring myself there yet. That's why on Friday he says he felt a wave of relief wash over him when he found out the One Pulse Foundation is abandoning their plans to build a museum near the site of the nightclub. He says he never felt like it was going to be a place that would bring survivors any peace. It wasn't about the survivors. It wasn't about the families. It just became about a, a tourist attraction, something else to bring people to Orlando. Maritza Gomez is another pulse shooting survivor who echoes Cassiano's feelings. That night was not for a museum to be made. That night is to be a memorialized and for anybody to just show up and learn what happened that night. Gomez says while she's happy the museum is no longer going to be built and she's glad the city of Orlando purchased the site of the nightclub. She wants the building, the previous owners and the foundation to be investigated. Survivors have claimed there were unpermitted renovations and code violations inside the club the night of the shooting that prevented people from getting out and delayed the police response. There's been so many violations in post where they never addressed. I want the truth to come out. Liv Johnson, WESH 2 News. And both survivors say they are hoping the city will communicate more with the survivors and families of the victims when they make changes to the memorial and let them have a say in how their loved ones are remembered and what stands at this location.